Good morning, it's Saturday morning and uh, oh, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning and it's just amazing blue skies and sunny weather and so I had to get up and go for a dog walk. Uh, I'm in the same forest that I was picking wild garlic in last weekend. Uh, Grim is still asleep. I made him a tea and said that he should get up and enjoy me but he was a little bit too sleepy so I left him to sleep some more and so I'm just having a nice little morning walk uh, and then the rest of the day we're going to drive up about an hour or so north on the east coast because uh, Grim has something that he's going to pick up another old uh, tool for his blacksmith uh, so we're going to get that and uh, we're going to try and keep our eyes peeled for any markets or antique places on the way so that we can just have a fun little browse uh, and hopefully find a few cafes as well on the way um, so here you see that all of the wild garlic has just come springing up again look at how green it is this is all just wild garlic it's one of the first thing that comes up in the spring but we're not going to pick any wild garlic today um, although it is so tempting I saw in the plant centre yesterday they were actually selling plants of wild garlic for five pounds each just one little plant so it's actually a complete gold mine to have so much wild garlic here in the forest uh, where we live so yeah that's the plan for today lovely lovely day this forest goes around a, a lake called Kragerholm Ich habe ein Intro. So we're at the chocolate chocolate um, cafe again <laughs> and we're going to test their lovely um, sourdough uh, buns and we're having some cold coffee and some hot chocolate. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ja, ja. Den heter ju chokladfabriken visserligen, men <laughs> det är faktiskt hon är. So we took our lovely sourdough uh, sandwiches and our coffee to Brösarps Backa, which is a little nature reserve. And we found a little bench and now we're going to eat our lovely sourdough sandwiches here 
but it was really nice weather and it was like warm and sunny but now it's quite cold <laughs> it's quite cold and cloudy but we're gonna have a cozy time anyway and we have quite a nice view you can't really see from here <laughs> Malsy is up on the table classic moles <laughs> Let's see, what do we have here? Look. Anything? No, moldy. Okay, then turkey. Ooh, wow. So we've got some turkey sandwiches and some vegetarian sandwiches too. Mm. Ha ha ha. Visa. Mmm. 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 It is quite cold, yeah. <laughs> oh. We migrated to the sun because it was really cold. It was like freezing with our sandwiches. Mm. It's freezer. That's what you plan. Flip it and held up the bit. Somebody, I bought the mackerel. So we just uh, were driving and we saw that there was a little roadside, uh, what do you call it, a little a, a backyard sale and we bought some nice little treats, a little sandwich and then some little goodies and a drink and then we also bought these cute little pillows and Grim bought some sort of old tool and I also got this cute little thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we just did. I totally forgot to film it when we were doing it, but this is where we are. Still nice weather. So we just bought a few lamps in this little shop. Yeah. <laughs> Jag tror att vi går in en eller annan lampa som släcktes. Ja, men det är inte. Jag har hittat lite av det. Nej, men det tar vi sen. Det tar vi sen. Jag har bara att filma lite på min. Ja, det är sen. 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 So many lamps that I had to have the dog here at the front now. Have you a little tilt? Yeah. I'll just set it up. Yeah. Two cents. Yeah. Here, but here, but. Very good. <laughs> Three beautiful teak lamps and some extra stuff too. Which we'll show you later. <laughs> what have we just done, Jesus? Something wonderful. Yes, a little bit. Wonderfully expensive, but so worth it. We have just bought three beautiful, amazing lamps that are all just from this uh, Swedish company called uh, Aseya. Mm. Vintage lamps and they're all um, gold lamp or? Like on the floor. <laughs> yeah, floor lamps that stand up from the floor. <laughs> anyway, they're all lovely and vintage and beautiful lamps of teak. Molly for the Molly, not an lamp. Anyway, so we bought these three amazing lamps.
lamps um, and Grimm's already bought three uh, of the same company lamps but not um, normal uh, living room lamps but just uh, some um, table lamps so now we have a load of lamps from the same company old vintage when were they made like maybe these ones are made for like 50 We're just collecting the little things of Grimm. In a lovely little spot here by the sea.
we just made a quick pit, pit stop at, um, at this <laughs> at a little farmer's shop and uh, <laughs> it's lovely lovely weather oh and it's a really lovely lovely spot with really old buildings and stuff and we bought some different juices some different apple juices and two um ducks ducks some frozen duck which we're going to make a lovely recipe for here it is beautiful <laughs> so it's wild duck that they've caught here and they have a little shop that's just in there uh, and they sell lots of different um, wild game um, so they had some like um, uh, what do you call it some smoked um, oh, sorry can I think of something uh, some different different game that was smoked and frozen and fresh and steaks and mints and sausages and everything they had lots of different things and it was really nice and uh, it's set in this wonderful old castle historic castle you can see I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see even better so it's in a lovely lovely setting so this is where we are and they have their lovely uh, boutique here, here where they sell all of their wild game so we we chose a little bit of uh, yeah duck oh, I'll have to find a recipe for that now <laughs> and now we're going to continue because we think that we really want to make time to find one more retro place and have a little bit more antique finding so that's our plan and then we'll get home and put up the new lamps to show you the amazing lamps it's going to do this at them so you can't so make them here they are all together one two three four five six and all of them are by the same Swedish company called Asaya and this one, this first one, we've just about managed to get to stand and balance of its own weight. <laughs> and this is Grin's vintage workshop lamp, which he's not decided wh whether he's going to have it in the blacksmith or not. But I think it's pretty awesome wherever it is. And it has these amazing, beautiful vintage details. All of these tiny little screws made for hand and it's just such a gorgeous vintage lamp and I love that you can see that it's been used and it's been a working lamp I did nothing there, I was going to say I'm then made around 1920-ish mm -hmm. and then these two we're going to have as our bedside lamps we have, they're almost the same design. It's just maybe a few years in between or maybe one of them is a prototype. We think that maybe the white one is a little bit older than the red one. And the only difference is how the cord goes through the lamp. But 
they look pretty identical just as they are and these are also Asaya and as you can see they're also quite industrial style one red and one white and they also just have so much wonderful detail and they just attach like that and Grimm bought these on an auction the same as he did the other one here and then these are the three lamps that we bought today in the little retro shop also by the same company here we are so we have this lovely sort of bordel fluttery Parisian lampshade and then we have this diamond lampshade and then this lovely art deco lampshade and all three uh, stands are made of teak and they're all a little bit different and unique but so beautiful this one looks like this really art deco and then the next one is also the same style and then the third one is also just so so stylish so we're really pleased with them we can't decide where we're going to have them now but I think it looks fantastic right there it will make us smart each time we go into this room <laughs> look at our lamps really really pleased wow oh. so fun Easter Sunday, just on a morning walk with the dogs in Snuggahon Forest, a different forest from yesterday. Grim's working today, so I'm all on my lonesome. So I got up with him, he got up about 20 past six. So I've got a good start to the day. I'm gonna go for a walk and then see what I can do. My uh, our evening took an abrupt, abrupt end yesterday because I really hurt my finger. <laughs> I got a new um, mandolin slicing knife and I sliced off a real chunk of my finger. And I haven't slept all night because I've just been in so much pain. So I'm exhausted. Still in really so much pain. I've tried to take off the bandage, but it, it, it's just too painful. I can't do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait for Grim to get back from work and then we can maybe take off the bandage. and. Oh, put a new one on. It's just so painful. But anyway, it's a shame because I had so many plans for the, for the next two days that I have free, but I'll still enjoy it anyway. I mean, look at where I am. How can I not have a wonderful time? It's an absolutely gorgeous morning. Frosty. It's like two degrees and it was yeah, definitely minus during the night absolutely gorgeous just saw some deer running Sasha's probably run after them <laughs> I hope not oh gorgeous 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 I can hear a woodpecker there's so much bird life here wonderful can't decide what to do when I get back home I think I'm going to finish my sourdough bread that I was <laughs> I started a sourdough bread yesterday and then I cut my hand and I didn't manage to finish it but I think I'm going to try and do it anyway with one hand and then I've been wanting to make a pie for Grim for ages and it will be really hard to do it with one hand but I might be able to succeed we'll see I also really want to use my mandolin my cutting mandolin, my knife mandolin, but I did just cut my finger off, so is it wise? <laughs> but I think I will use it, I think I'll use it. I just need to use the safety thing. That's the problem. That's why I cut my finger, because I didn't use the safety thing on my mandolin. I was just too excited, because it's just such a good mandolin, you know? Wonderful thing. Yep, but anyway, so Grim took care of me last night and he, bandaged my finger and 
and patted my face when I was crying through the night because I was in so much pain. So he's also really tired and he has to work today. He's working in the acute um, emergency department in his uh, vet hospital today. <laughs> and I'm free, <laughs> but in pain. So it's a little bit, a little bit of a shame for me. But yeah. Let's see, so I might make a pie. I have plans to go running, so I haven't been running in ages. I've been just so tired after work. But, so this finger injury has forced me to just be lazy. And that's maybe a good thing. Even though I was ready to be super proactive. Um, but anyway, I'm up in the morning and I'm going to try and make a pie with one hand. And... I really wanted to make a compost as well, like an outdoor compost, build a little outdoor compost thing. Uh, we'll see if I can succeed doing that. It might be possible with one hand to do some shoveling. We'll see. We'll see how much I can be bothered to do today. I might just end up lying in bed and doing some notes. Just made my first sourdough bread. And uh, it's just finished and I put it outside for it to cool down quickly because I really want to have it for breakfast. And it's quite cold today. Aha! I think it turned out really well. It smells amazing. It smells really delicious. Next to my little zebra flower. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to eat it. I'm gonna have it with a little bit of sauerkraut. Yeah. <laughs> so I've just been to the hairdressers and fixed my hair, done my roots, you know. And um, I was just around the corner from where Grim works in Malmö. So now I'm just waiting in the parking spot and I'm going to surprise him after work. He's finishing at five and it's about eight minutes past five. But when, when you're working in the emergency department, I think you always work overtime. So I don't know how long I'll be waiting, but it'll be totally worth it. This is my view. He's waiting here for him to come. Not sure what angle he's going to come out from. But I'm excited to surprise him. <laughs> Been waiting here a really long time now. It's like half past five. No sign of Grim. I'm waiting. Finally, finally made it. Grim is finally out the building and now I'm just following him home. Because we took, yeah, we have some people. That's Grim in front of me in the blue car. Mm. So when we get home, we're going to um, go over to Ivan Julia. We live, uh, delicious food and um, then we uh, came home and we're just uh, changing the bandage on my finger <laughs> so wish us luck <laughs> <laughs> 